what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so another quick video talking about some rumors some tea that has been spilt apparently on this form submission that is apparently announced du mois i believe is how it's pronounced <laughs> shout out to tc in our network uh for teaching me that if that's truthfully how it is pronounced apparently it's french i guess but some new rumors apparently came out on this forum and it's another another person claiming to work for paramount pictures no word on how true this is of course no word on how true any of the other stuff that i mentioned in that last video regarding screen five is just take all of this with a grain of salt don't know if any of it's true we'll of course find out when the movie comes out or when the teaser comes out or as we continue to learn more official things from the studios from those involved from Nev campbell from Melissa Barrera and you know getting it from an actual official source someone who worked on the film these are just people claiming to have worked on the film we don't know if they actually did or not so don't take any of this as fact just take it as a rumor and just fun things for me to discuss on this channel with you guys because I know we cannot wait for this film to come out can't wait to see how it turns out can't wait to see our first look at it so let's just hop right on in to what they are saying in this submission here now again submission i have t regarding screen five it's saying please keep this anonymous my friend works for paramount and has seen a few of the dailies for the new screen film i asked him for information and he only told me a few things one dewey and gail have a fight early on in the movie no shit not surprised <laughs> number two ghostface will get crafty with his kills and use new weapons a pair of scissors is involved now that's the most interesting thing here number three there will be a main title sequence that will please fans with the original franchise very visual effects heavy now the last one is what i want to touch on real quick now i've seen people speculating on what if they take the m in scream and kind of slightly highlight the v that makes up an m to point out that this is scream 5 that would be cool but not making it like blatantly obvious that you're trying to say scream 5 in a way i guess like not making it go beyond the limits of the letter just highlighting that portion of the letter in red to point out that that's a v shape also to point and nod to the fact that yes this is a sequel this is scream 5 unofficially titled scream or officially titled Scream, not officially titled Scream 5. So, whatever they're talking about with that title sequence, I think all the Scream films have had pretty great title sequence, title sequences, except for, I honestly would say the worst one was Scream 4. Scream 4 is the worst. I think the whole, but even then, if that's the case, if I'm going to say this, that's going to fall right in line with Scream 5. The whole, well, maybe not. Scream 4 using that 4 to rep and turning the a into a four i thought that was i thought that was kind of like what like i didn't the the placement of it and how it was done just seemed very cheesy compared to the others they could have just done and called it screen four it had the four on the outside or had the four kind of slashing over over the screen logo the same way you had in the past with two and three but whatever uh, and then number two this is the most interesting one to me ghostface will get crafty with his kills and will use new weapons now we already know we have like a i think uh whatever job melissa and sam and richie melissa Barrera and jack quaid whatever that couple they're going to be working at we're speculating there's going to be some type of kill there uh, a bowling alley i think is where they worked at i might be mistaken i think it changed it changed a couple of times and we thought it was going to be a bowling alley but now it's something else so i've seen people talk about maybe we'll have a chase scene at their job but that's in a different town that's in like parkside because that's another thing i'm assuming i'm assuming because the working title for scream was parkside alpha so i'm assuming parkside is where sam and richie are now residents of and they're coming back to woodsboro from that town maybe sydney actually stays there too uh but who knows and also just to talk about the scissors aspect of this we know he likes to use just his uh typical buck knife so ghost face and a pair of scissors that could end up in a very messy scenario uh, we know the buck knife is definitely going to be used, but a pair of scissors, that definitely would be a first. Not necessarily. The only time we've seen scissors, that would be a first for Ghostface. But I think the last time I 
I actually would have loved to see scissors get used was when Principal Henry got killed in the first movie. When he, cause he used scissors when he was interrogating those students. So I felt like it would have been kind of cool if Ghostface used those same scissors to kill him later on. But that of course did not happen. Ghostface is always stuck to the buck knife outside of Scream 3 where he decided to blow somebody up. I don't think we've ever seen Ghostface utilize anything outside of that buck knife. So that'll be a very interesting thing to see if a pair of scissors get used. Uh, maybe even a butcher knife maybe like just a nod to the fact that they're trying to pay homage to michael myers there with that he could use a variety of different things if, if that happens I, i'm not opposed to it like using different weapons to pay homage to some of the other slashers that have kind of paved the way for Ghostface when he debuted in the 90s i think that would be pretty cool and then the first one that it had here gail and dewey having a fight early on in the film what is so shocking about that i do not know these two have a fight every other movie, actually every movie, in fact, outside of the first one. The first one is them getting acquainted, falling in love, and starting that little romance. Scream 2, they're beefing, battling over Gail's book. Uh, Scream 3, beefing, battling about Gail leaving Dewey in the hospital after the events of Scream 2 to continue with her career. Scream 4, Marriage is kind of not going that well because Gail isn't happy with her writing journalism career and the fact that she's not really that, I guess, popular anymore from what she used to be previously. Dewey's now focused on being the sheriff. He has this deputy who flirts with him. Of course, Gail's not going to be happy with that. Dewey doesn't even really just shoot her down in a way. He kind of he kind of like welcomes Judy's flirtation, which I can understand would upset any significant other if you're that type of person. But them, them having a fight early on, there's nothing shocking here. If they're going to have a fight early on, they're probably going to also be divorced then. I'm expecting these two to be divorced then in Screen 5. I would hope that they are not. But if they are divorced, not shocked by that. Not shocked that they would be fighting either. They fight in every sequel. <laughs> they have an argument or something is causing a, a frustration in someone in this relationship. But that's all I have regarding apparent T for screen five. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification at Nemesis Video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. Um, and with all that in mind, guys, you will see me in the next video.